Hey guys, it's Jay Cyan, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your stream alerts with Streamlabs OBS so you can get started on streaming on Twitch. Now keep in mind, this isn't going to be a full Streamlabs OBS setup like video settings and all that. This is going to be just for alerts and for overlays and stuff and what I recommend what to use for an overlay and that's pretty much it so let's get started so if you go to streamlabs.com it's going to take you to the sign in page right here i'm going to go ahead and go to streamlabs.com and you just log in it says that i'm already logged in so i can just click on dashboard be sure to log in with your twitch or with any platform that you like to log into maybe like youtube or something and once you go here let's go ahead and go to the alert box now the alert box is going to be having follow, subscriptions, donations, hosts, all that stuff. So what I'm going to do to follows is what you're going to be doing to the exact same thing with the rest of these. So here it goes. On follows, go ahead and scroll down. And as you scroll down, uh, here is the alert animation. I have mine as fade in and fade out. Of course, if you want to enable this, I think it's enabled by default. Um, Right here, you just leave this alone unless you want to edit it. It's up to you. You can leave this alone too since it has the name of the user and everything else. So I just leave it as that. It'll say username is now following. You're now highly in, etc. Since I'm more of like a Zelda theme type of channel in a way. Well, not necessarily. I'm a, I'm a variety streamer, but I like to keep my Zelda theme there just to, you know, keep uh to like let everybody know that hey i'm a huge zelda fan and you know i love nintendo games and all that stuff um and i have the text animation for the follower to rubber band and it just fades in and fades away when it happens and here's my gif right here that i added in you can go ahead and add a gif if you like and you can add a uh sound uh here if you like just upload by clicking the upload button and you can and you can uh yeah send it in they used to accept only dot og aka dot ogg files but now they accept mp3 files i don't think they were open to mp3 files when i first started because when i first started streaming two and a half years ago or so they only wanted people to submit dot og files and since a majority of people are using mp3 files this is an excellent great uh, this is a good thing because, uh, you know, a lot of us use MP3 files and we could just li literally go on Google and just look up any converter and uh, upload a YouTube URL in the converter and get an MP3 file. Now for subscriptions, like I said, you do the same thing here. This is just literally the alert for subscriptions and stuff. So literally, you just do the same thing as I did. This is literally the same same uh settings that i got for the follow section except i just replaced it with a different gif and a different sound effect so let's go ahead and go to donations same thing here that i have you can copy some of these settings if you like but i'm pretty sure it's the same settings as you'll see in the other one same with hosts bits as well and as for bits, I'm going to show you something real quick. So when you upload a uh, bit alert or something, um, okay, obviously I haven't enabled. I don't know why. Mine was at disabled for default two and a half years ago when I started. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know if it's like that for you guys. Because my bits didn't really work. My bits uh, had the default animation where it's just showing the Twitch bits logo on the screen. If you go scroll here, go ahead and upload your GIF and your sound alert for it. And as you scroll down, go... Hold up a sec. Let me see if there's anything here. You can edit stuff here if you like. Be sure that it's exactly the way you wanted. And if you go here, you're going to see bits right here. So these are different bit alerts that you can add i changed up my bits recently specifically for sound alerts so if anyone wants to play a sound while i'm streaming or something they can go ahead and do that by uh cheering the amount of bits they want uh i recommend using sound alerts with these right here let's go ahead and edit one bit or add one if you like you can literally add one by using Add variation with default settings and you can go ahead and select bits used in at least this this amount aka this amount that we'll use uh let's say let's say we want the 
uh, specific sound to be 100. So basically, you edit these if you want a specific alert to play, like a specific sound effect to play. So I made it this way so that I can have different sound effects play each time people cheer a specific amount of bits. Like for 100 bits, it'll play this sound from a video game. For 500 bits, it'll play a screaming sound effect. For 1000 bits, it'll play a fart effect or something. So um, I made these specifically just to create more uh, engagement with our community like if they like these sound effects they can go ahead and use them like this for example let's go ahead and make this uh, or actually no here I'll show you since I already made one uh let's go to right here let's go to uh, to this one right here this is the 25-bit uh, one this is the loud fart that I called it be sure to select bits used is at least amount so the bit amount will show up I put 25 and if they cheer 25 bits, oh, you don't have to edit this, and I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, I would just leave it there, because I don't fuck with it. But it, it'll uh, put 25 bits. Well, I put 25 bits. You can put the text above you, over the image, or on the left. Any way you like, you can make it fade in, fade out. I made my fade in to fade out. Put the GIF, put the sound, put the audio there, and put any font that you like, any size for the font, or any of that. And once I have all that set and ready, I'm going to click on Test. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> so you can mess with these and make them be the same thing like this. If you don't like random sound alerts, perfectly fine. Go ahead and upload this here, the GIF and the sound alert and implement them right here if you like. Uh, so you don't have to uh, do different sound alerts or sound effects. I did just to create more engagement and it's something that I would recommend just to see, <laughs> just for your viewers to scare you with a funny sound or a scary sound or a loud cheery sound or something. So I, yeah, I'm basically messing with this right now so that my viewers can have a fun time to do this. But yeah, raids was, I think raids were effed up for me when I first started. When I first started two and a half years ago, raids wasn't enabled for me. I don't know why, what happened, but I'm pretty sure you just need to have it enabled. Uh, you can have the font or the animation any way you want. Raider minimum, doesn't really matter. I keep mine at any, uh, any amount, honestly, because I welcome any amount of raids. Uh, there's the GIF, there's the link, well, sorry, the GIF and the sound and the volume and everything you can also add variations as well like oh uh what gif will appear if i put uh this amount of people rating or this amount or this amount uh i just keep mine at this really it doesn't really matter what amount because i don't want i don't want to make it feel like it's special or anything so uh i would just treat raids as equal to me at least <laughs> the bits i changed it around just because bits are easy to access while raids you literally had to stream and then raid someone. So it's a, you know, it's a hassle. That's why I keep it at one GIF. But you can mess around with it, add, you know, add variations if you like. It's up to you, but I decided not to. And the rest here, I really don't mess with these. I don't know what pledges are really. I never really had a pledge happen on stream before. Uh, merch, I did have that happen before, but it, <laughs> it, it, it rarely happens, honestly. So I'm gonna revamp my merch soon. That's why it's not really active. But yeah, all you really need are raids, bits, hosts, donations, subs, follows, all that stuff. As for overlays, I'm going to talk to you guys deep about overlays. So overlays, I wouldn't really suggest buying a big overlay at all. Uh, you can get overlays, but if we're talking about overlays that are like literally covering, uh, like covering the bottom or around your screen, you're... But if we're talking about overlays that are like literally covering around your screen or something, uh, you're essentially making it harder for people to watch your stream. And that's something I really don't recommend because imagine you're watching a stream on mobile and you have that overlay around you and the resolution like imagine you're trying to lower the resolution because you're on mobile data or something. It'll make it even harder to watch that person while they're streaming while being on mobile so i wouldn't recommend adding an overlay at all the only things i recommend are at least recent fo oh my god <laughs> i'm putting it the wrong way uh recent followers recent 
subs and all that stuff that are like right here literally on your bottom right corner uh, for me it's kind of reversed because you know it's kind of reversed for me since i'm facing this way for the camera um but yeah no i just add recent follows recent hosts recent subs and all that stuff and I add a sub goal to let people know that, hey, if we reach the sub goal, I will sing a song or something like that. Uh, if you guys have any uh, suggestions of what ideas or um, things I should do for five sub goal, it almost works every stream and, uh, you know, when we break the sub goal and I'm just blessed for that. So thank you so much. But yeah, no, you just need two to three small overlays, really. And uh, I'll show you on how to do that in just a second here. So now that we got overlays and alerts out of the way, let's install Streamlabs OBS. Now, uh, let me go ahead and uh, see if I could find it. Oh, there we go. Uh, click on download Streamlabs OBS. Mine is already downloaded, so I'm gonna cancel that really quick. There you go, it's already canceled. And uh, once you install it, go ahead and install it. And uh, it will leave you to this uh software right here which i'll show you in just a moment this is the reason why it's showing multiple screens is because you know i'm literally live showing what my obs looks like so it's gonna be <coughs> all of that so anyways um once you're here you're essentially not gonna have anything here at the bottom uh, you're not going to see any of these things that I have because I already implemented them. And the reason why I recommend Streamlabs OBS, and I think I already mentioned this to you guys, but it's super easy to set up. It may be heavy on your CPU usage, but it's really easy to set up with just two to three clicks. So let's go ahead and start with your gameplay screen. All you got to do is add a new scene and call it... Let's call it live gameplay, just like the one that we have. You hit save or done, I guess. I'm gonna hit cancel because I already got one. And once you do that, it's gonna create this here. Uh, well, uh, well, it's not gonna create all of this. It's gonna be blank here. And uh, for a blank source here, uh, let's say you wanna add the alerts that we just talked about, like the follower, subscription, the bid, the rate alerts. Uh, let's go ahead and click on the plus button and click on the alert box, add source. And once you add source, you can, uh, I think you have the, yeah, you have the ability to name it if you like, go ahead and name it. And there you go. Once you added it, you don't have to do anything else because we just got through on how to set up our follower, our raids, our bits and all that stuff. So you don't have to do anything, just add it and you're good. And you can drag it anywhere you like. I left it at the center just cause I like to keep people's names in the center to let them know that, Hey, this person's following. So I like to put them at, I like to put them on the center to let them be that they're the spotlight of the stream for a little bit. And then, and then we move on with the next person and their names will appear at the top or, you know, like uh, above this face cam. So I like to keep them like that basically. And face cam, if, if you want to go ahead and add a face cam, which I do recommend if you want to grow further or get recognized, if you don't want to add a face cam, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to. Just letting you know, it's going to be a lot harder to grow on Twitch without a face cam. And face cams get a lot of recognition, especially when uh, you see a face cam on a stream thumbnail. Uh, if I see that, I'm going to click on it instantly. But if you don't have a face cam, might give a chance, but it's more likely that I'm going to click on a user with a face cam. Anyways, let's go ahead and add a face cam. Click on the plus button, click on video capture device, add the source, and it's going to ask you what video capture do you want to use? Or uh, do you want to use your webcam, your game capture, um, your uh, DSLR, sorry, your DSLR camera, which, which is the one I'm using as a webcam or face cam kind of, and uh, go ahead and select the one you want and you're all good. Uh, if you want webcams, I'm going to go ahead and recommend some at the description below if you need them. Uh, I'll try to find some good ones. I recommend the Logic, uh, the Logitech C920 or the Logitech C922. Those are good ones to start off with. Don't get anything else, really, uh, if you're just starting off. And then once you build up your stream about like a year or two years, then go ahead and invest into a DSLR camera. And if you want to add recent alerts like the ones I have here, go ahead and do that by clicking here and click on oh boy how am i gonna there you go event list once you click on event list add it and then once you added it uh you can go ahead and drag it anywhere you like i chose this here particularly they have different boxes but i chose this just because it's easy to see uh it's somewhat see-through yeah it's see-through kind of and uh it doesn't really take up that much space honestly so i recommend getting this 
And as for goals, uh, I would recommend sub goals only. I wouldn't recommend follower goal or donation goals at all. Keep those on the down low. You really don't need those. People are going to follow regardless. They really won't pay attention to the follower goal. I don't either. Um, donation goals only have them if you're doing a charity stream. If you're not doing any charity or any of that stuff, I would recommend adding them because people are going to think you're a scum, you're scummy, and you just want money. So please don't add a donation goal or a tip goal. Just leave, uh, just remove it or keep it on if you're doing a charity stream. Sub goals, I only have these up whenever I'm going to do something for my subscribers on Twitch. So if you want a sub goal, which is basically a monthly payment, uh, I would recommend it uh, if you want people to support you and it really works. You know, people really do want to support a streamer. If they see a goal like that, they may likely sub and want you to do something cool or funny on Twitch. So go ahead and have it up if you like. I have mine up because I want to sing a song uh, to my viewers. So go ahead. And to set up games, I would suggest to start off with PC games since a majority of people who start out streaming usually have a PC or gaming PC. But if you do have an Elgato game capture or any sort of game capture, go ahead and use them. I'm about to show you how to add a PC or I guess how to like add a PC game to your stream. So here it goes. Let's go ahead and boot up a game that I have here right now. I'm gonna open up my Steam. And as it loads up, let's go ahead and create a little source for it. So on your live gameplay scene, uh, here in your sources, go click on the plus button and click on uh, maybe something like window capture or game capture. So let's go ahead and select maybe like, uh, I would suggest game capture probably. I was gonna say window capture, but apparently mine has been having some delay. I'm not sure if that has to do with the window or if that has to do with the game. So uh, I would suggest doing game capture for now and uh, try that. Now that you're on game capture, go ahead and uh, select or name it PC games or something. Uh, I already added mine, so I'm not going to do that. Adding a new source means this is a brand new one or if you're going to be using the original one, then do not tick this and click on the original. Because look, when you tick it, you get to make a new one. If you don't tick it, you use the original name. This is the original name that I already got. Mine is a PC one, so um, I really don't use window capture for it, kind of. But yeah. Um, now that you have that added, go ahead and upload or not upload. <laughs> go ahead and enter in a game that you want to uh, put in. So I'm going to go ahead and there we go. And then I'm going to look uh, Persona 4 Golden. Persona 4 Golden is the current game I'm streaming at the moment, if anyone's interested. But let's go ahead and play this game. It's going to load up. And once the game loads up, go ahead and go to your Streamlabs. Oh, let me close out some windows. <laughs> there you go. Go to your Streamlabs and right click on PC games or, or, or whatever it is that you named it. Uh, you can have it capture a specific window, a full screen window, or any of that. Uh, I usually go with specific window. I'm not sure if that has any effect with uh, stream delay. Like if the audio comes in and then the action shows. Um, if that happens, then go ahead and go here on this little cog wheel. And uh, these are microseconds, which means 100 means, well, 100 microseconds is one second above and negative 100 is one second back. So I put eight seconds back to try to like, to try to sync in the audio and the action of the game. You can test this by recording your gameplay and keep adjusting or changing these, these settings so that you can see a change. It took me a long time to get it working, but trust me, keep going and you'll see a little difference. All right, and then once you hit a specific game, like a specific window or something, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to close out of my, uh, there we go. Yeah, I'm going to close out of that. Mine is on a specific window. If I go to properties, it's on specific window, Persona 4 Golden. And I'm going to open up the game right here. And there you go. See, that's how you do it for PC games. Now for console games, uh, you're going to need a capture card. I recommend the Elgato Game Capture HD 60S. The reason why I don't recommend other ones is because uh, they, they probably aren't user friendly. And uh, they're probably a little harder to set up or uh, maybe, you know, they don't have like the most updated features like Elgato uh, Capture HD60S does. Uh, people recommended the Aver Media. 
Aver Media is a good one to start off with too from what I've heard. I can't recommend it since I never used it, but I definitely recommend the Elgato Game Capture HD 60S. And uh, you can use that to record or stream your console gameplay, like any console, as long as you can use an HDMI cable with it. Um, now for handheld consoles, uh, you're gonna need a game capture card inside the handheld consoles from what I've heard. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know how that works. You're gonna have to look into that. Go to Google and maybe find someone that can install it for you or find something somewhere. I, <laughs> I'm not sure, so don't quote me on it. I never used it before. Now, let's go ahead and set up the Elgato game capture or the uh, game capture you have by going to plus button video capture device add a source and it's going to ask you what which one are you going to add and you're either going to add a webcam a elgato game capture or your dslr camera since we're going to add an elgato game capture click on the game capture slash elgato game capture i believe it's going to say the name go ahead and click on that add it name it anything you want and once you have that added uh it should be all set you really don't need to do anything to it. Uh, if it's not activated, go ahead and deactivate and reactivate it if it doesn't refresh your game. I had that issue a couple of times here and there. So I had to activate, deactivate, then activate mine just to see if the game will work. And if it doesn't work, unplug everything on your Elgato game capture card and replug it back in as well as back into your uh, monitor so that it will work. I'm using two monitors for this. Uh, if you want a link on how to set it up, like how to set up the Nintendo Switch with the Elgato Game Capture, how to set up a PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5, how to set up an Xbox, um, any of those stuff, I will go ahead and link those videos in the description if you need it. If I didn't link them, please let me know in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Uh, I just tend to, I, I, I tend to forget, so <laughs> forgive me. I forgot to mention this. I don't know if I mentioned the sub goal part, but as for sub goals, uh, I put mine to, well, I manually update my sub goal. I used to use the automatic one, but apparently that one takes forever to update. I wouldn't recommend it. I've been having zero out of five sub goal per stream in a way. Well, not like legit. I get zero subs per stream. I actually do get, I do break the goal almost every stream. Uh, so I recommend adding a minimum of like maybe three for your first time and then maybe four or five later on. I've been having five for a while because I believe adding five subs almost every stream that you get will get you a ton of help. Like, you know, it gets you a ton of support, a ton of help. Uh, people are subscribing to you to help make the, the quality of your streams look better, look sick or something. So my streams wouldn't be like this if it weren't for everyone's donations, subs, biddies, and everything. It's all thanks to all of you for making this happen. Definitely uh, add a sub goal if you're doing something for it. If you're not going to do anything for it, I want to suggest adding a goal. I add mine just because I'm doing something for it. I usually sing a song at the end of the stream. Uh, for the sub goal that I got so um, that's been helping surprisingly <laughs> a lot of people do want to support me and that surprises me that you know they actually want to hear a song or or see some events happen and whenever I get to a specific goal like let's say I hit 125 or 150 subs I'm gonna do a big event on stream like uh, like uh, I'm gonna do a cosplay stream or write people's names uh, on some posters or something or uh, like, you know, like literally anything. So it's really nice, really fun to have. I would suggest uh, adding this really, if you guys like to add some cool events to get the community engaged uh, or Q and A's or giveaways, all that stuff. The last thing I'm gonna suggest to you guys is to add starting soon and BRB screens. These are great whenever you're trying to set up things while your stream is on and you're trying to like get everything all all nice and tidy so let's go ahead and add an image by doing this so let's go ahead and go to my starting soon screen this is starting soon screen super simple to do i don't like you really don't have to add any animated screens at all what i did is that i simply just add an image i click on the plus button add an image and there you go you just add an image add a source and uh, upload an image from your file explorer and you're fine be sure that it fits to the screen by right click on this image i call it starting soon right click it go to transform fit to screen and there you go it's all set up 
Uh, you can also add alerts, which I do recommend because you never know that people are gonna gift subs to you, cheer bits, or host while you're start while you're on your starting soon screen. So I highly recommend adding alerts to that too. Just like how we did before, simply go to your starting soon screen, click on the plus button, click on alert box, and once you click on that, copy your alert box, copy it, and then and then paste it. Once you paste it, it's gonna appear at the very top here and you can drag it anywhere you like. And keep this in mind, if you like, if you drag these alerts or anything else at the top, they're gonna be covering the screen. They, they are prioritizing, you know, everything on the screen. If you put them uh, at the bottom, they're gonna be covered by other overlays, if that makes sense. Let me know if I need to explain that a little better in the comments and I would love to help you guys out. But uh, yeah, I have mine at the very top, so so that my <laughs> my supporters have like a little spotlight for them whenever I get subbed or bit bombed or something like that. So definitely, definitely uh, copy and paste these per scene here, uh, so that way um, so that way the animation plays. And when the animation plays, look what happens. I'm gonna test out the widget. Let's do this. The animation still stays. So that's why I recommend copy and pasting. I manually added these by click on the plus button, add alert. Plus button, add alert. Uh, don't do that. Copy copy the alert box from, from one of your scenes and paste it into any scene slash sources and you're pretty much good to go. All right, I think that's all I needed to cover on how to set up your alerts, your games and overlays. Hopefully that helped. I know a lot of people are new to streaming uh, this is the most basic as I can make it, probably. If I need to clear something up, please let me know in the comments. Streamlabs OBS has updated a lot and made their, and made their platform or uh, software a lot simpler for people than before. It was already simple for me when I first started, but they made it a lot simpler. Uh, the only thing I don't like what they're doing is that they're adding paid payments for overlays and stuff like making people pay money for overlays and I would not encourage that for you guys ever the overlays used to be free don't do it don't buy it I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend Streamlabs Prime if you if you do go ahead and use it if you like I have no use for it when I used it so I would have recommended to be honest with you guys <laughs> after like looking into it it's it's not that worth it but um, yeah, we'll talk about more about merch and all that stuff. If you guys have questions about merch or websites or literally anything, let me know in the comments. Uh, hopefully this helped. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys on my streams. That's twitch.tv slash jcyan. I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Hope to see you guys there. Take care and peace.